Guys, we're just leaving Willow and Woods now on the Willow and Woods Road. Uh, instead of going straight back, we're not going to make it to the seaside, although we were going to, but I wanted to put a bit more mileage on. So what we'll do is we'll head down this way. Uh, this is the road to Mablethorpe. You come out of Willow and Woods and turn left. It's the road to Mablethorpe. Oh, Ben's. Got my music playing. I mean, uh, all of you guys. And Taz, obviously. Taz has done a lovely, lovely, lovely little piece to a camera talking about her, uh, her new helmet, which will be on the previous video now, or previous two videos. So, hi guys, welcome to the channel, and welcome to another video. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to ride, I don't, I'm really bad here, I don't know the name of this road. But if you don't go to it Woods, just you come out of market reason. Oh, like I say, I'm so comfortable on this bike. So this is North Willingham. Um, oh look, ice cream place. An artisan ice cream place. Might have to try that in summer. That'd be worth a ride out. I have to talk to Tez about that one when I do this video and I remember it's there. <laughs> so yeah, I've had a proper, you know, stick to speed limits day. Just enjoying it, sweeping through the bends. So if you're going to uh, Mablethorpe, that's a it's a nice place to either go to on the way or hit on the way back. Uh, when we've done the sand racing, in fact, I think the last video we did the sand racing, we did this road in which we showed you, uh, you know, these cameras where they were and everything. So we're going the opposite way now. And like I say, come some other time we'll be making our way over this to uh, Mablethorpe this way, or whichever. Um, was going to try and perhaps put pop to the seaside and have some fish and chips. However, Tez informed me on that little coffee break. We're having gammon and chips at home. Who am I to turn down camping in chips at home? So guess what? I thought to myself, <laughs> what a wonderful world. I hope I'm finding you all well. Again guys, thank you for your support. Gives us more incentive to be doing this. You know, sometimes riding around like this is just as enjoyable as anything else. Okay, this is the B1225. Oh, we're on the A631 <coughs> to Louth. Louth is another lovely place to visit. Caster's that way. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go to Caster one day. I'm going to go to William Woods and drop off to Caster. So if any of you have been to Caster, let me know what's there. I think there's another Caster over at Yarmouth Way. I think that might be the one where the uh, holiday resort is. 
This one maybe not so much. Just shares the name. Ludford. You see that ass? Can you imagine living here in summer just listening to motorbikes flying by? Right, we're coming into Ludford Cafe and Gift Shop. I think we've got the work cut out with motorcyclists, I'm afraid. Because by which time I think we've all had our coffee. Just had a lovely coffee, by the way, in William Woods. Tez had a nice hot chocolate. They also do a really nice bacon sandwich. Sorry, bacon cob, bacon butty, bacon whatever you want to call it. Bap. There's so many words in there for the old uh, roll. Bacon roll. There you go. I think that's four of them knocked out. And I'm sure there's more. And if you know them, say them in the comments. I don't even know the right termination from where I come from. Anymore. But I'm going to find out. Burr on Bain. Burr on Bain, okay. So when we were South Elkington. I mean, how many times have you guys ridden down this road and uh, not realised what anywhere is called? Because I have. I didn't know. All these little villages we've got to have a potter through and a look at. The multicoloured truck. Lovely views. Beautiful views. Do you know what? I think I'm, <laughs> I'm sticking to 50. I think this is actually 90 restricted. I know it's not for long that they keep you restricted. Stunning countryside, absolutely stunning. We oh, see a tractor. Yeah, we're not indoors it now. Great towels. Do you know what? You could spend all day running around here and never be more than 10 miles away from Woodland Woods. Well, maybe a bit more than that. Certainly no more than 50 miles away. Okay. Say goodbye to the tractor. Bye bye, tractor. The farmers are out and very busy. Just wow. We're so, so lucky. So lucky. What a beautiful country. And to be honest with you, really, I've kind of taken you along the Lincolnshire part of it and not really got that far into it either. And we've got Derbyshire. Derbyshire's beautiful. And that's not before you start talking about going out to Wales and Scotland and... Hopefully we can do a bit of that. I'm going to have to have a little pop over to Wales at some point. Go over to North Wales. But when we go to turn off just up here, that'll be the road to Rugby. That will then put us back onto the main Lincoln by, uh, bypass, Lincoln Road, and then we'll follow that back for gammon and chips. I wonder if we're having egg or pineapple. Tune in next week. <laughs> no, I'm not going to give you an update on that. can't do too much today, I've got work tomorrow. I need to be fresh for that. Oh. So 
Bones come out. I love the way that they've uh, blocked that entrance off with logs and then growing trees just behind it. That'll look awesome when it gets uh, a few years time. I think, I'm not sure, but I think we're going to be bumping into a, a headwind. Going back. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Should have brought my camera out. Walton Le Bold, North Elkington and Bimbrook. All these little villages we've got that you can just go and investigate. And I'm not being funny, but the amount of times I've been down here on a sports bike, you know, I've gone into what we used to do, we used to go into Inglemouse, have a breakfast, shoot over to Mablethorpe, because the roads between Inglemouse and Mablethorpe were brilliant. Have a puddle around Mablethorpe, shoot back up here over here, over to Willingham Woods. Never even thought about going down some of these side roads. And that's what I love to do. I've got I've started now where all I want to do is just turn off the road. And find a different way home or just find a different way just coming into South Elkington so North Elkington is over that way coffee shop 100 meters again not one I've tried oh, the sun just coming through the trees here it's beautiful Thing is, when they've got all the leaves and everything, probably won't do it. Just uh... there you go. Little village shop, car park. We can get a coffee there as well. No, that's how many coffee shops that we've gone by. I wonder what's up there. I'm going to start doing this, we're going to start just disappearing up places. What can they say? You're not allowed up here, can you please leave? Beautiful house up there. You're not allowed here. Oh, sorry, bye. Thanks for the memories. See if we can get some angry men on camera. <laughs> That'd be funny. Make them a star. Little angry folk. I remember going up one, uh, it just looked like a little country lane and I went up it. I must have been going up it about three miles. And I got, and I got towards the top and I thought I need to turn around here because there was a house at the top. And this, uh, this very upset gentleman came out with a shotgun. He didn't point it at me or anything, it was cracked over his shoulder. And it was like, excuse me, uh, would you mind telling me what you think you're doing? And I said, oh, I'm just out for a ride on my bike, sorry. Do you know this is private property? Uh, I do know. Please turn round, reframe yourself from coming here again and leave. Yeah, I thought he'd been happy to see somebody. Right, this is the turn in, we're going up here now to Rugby. This is the A157, I believe. Yes, it is. Oh great. <laughs> okay. Right, this is the A157 back to Rugby. We'll be quite happy on this. Tootling back, go to Rugby, back through Lincoln. And uh, some nice quicker sweeping roads to enjoy. Them branches are sticking out of it. Better not crank it over too far. Trees will be meeting them. Oh, nearly. Thank you, my friend. What a lovely. 
lovely man. I bet he's a biker. Any money is a biker. I'll tell you what as well, we put the, our private number plate on the back of this and um, it's uh, confusing people. I've had a few people looking at it and they've gone, oh yeah, yeah, you know, that's the uh, that's the new GT, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's only just come out and then they go around and look at the number and go, huh? <laughs> oh, oh it's, it's not the one I thought it was. <laughs> I don't bother correcting them. Well everybody, this is stunning. Another thing as well, I'm gonna, I've been listening to a few of my videos and I've been saying guys a lot. Sorry. Having now listened to a few back, I've got to admit it sounds um, <laughs> not good. Not impressed. So I'm gonna try to refrain from saying that in future. I don't know where I got it from. It's not something I've ever used before. Uh, it kind of, uh, I don't know, I don't know where it's come from. So for that, if anybody's taken an unheed to it, I apologise. You can just try and say everybody. So that includes everyone. Or say everyone. Anyway, I digress. Um, Cadwell Park's up here. Welcome to the wall down there. Another beautiful house down there. I don't know if you've managed to see that. And he just saw it himself. Yeah, um what was I saying? Yeah, Cadillac Park's around here somewhere. I used to enjoy going to see the British Superbikes. Excuse me. That was a good weekend. Caution, one on road. Well at least you told us. That's something. I tell you what, these gloves have started trapping my hand. Started making it good sleep. So, cheaping's always better. Well, we've already found that out with the helmets. I've got to say, this uh, YouTube music not played a bad song yet. Is he going to pull out on me or is he going to be kind? Thinking about it, no, it's been kind. Okay. Give him a thank you. Hopefully, Brighton is there a bit. Colcathorpe and Kelston, down there. This is almost becoming an informative video. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, we need to disperse with these two. Not yet. Though. Bless him, he's trying to stick over as hard as he can, not realising that not quite enough. crows in the field. Oh yeah, slowing down, isn't he? That's one done. No, you tried. So we'll give you a thank you. Don't hurt to give him a thank you, does it? Bit of Top Gear roll on for you. Beautiful. She's lovely. This engine has turned into an absolute peach. It's been running properly, it's been running delightfully. Viscothorpe, Viscothorpe, that rings a bell. I've been there for something. Good, no. Rings a bell though. It's a big uh, town. Viscothorpe. Okay. 
this is Burr on Bain. I would love to be in the meeting where people came up with the names for some of these places. Whoever they were, they had an imagination and a half. They had a proper imagination. Well everyone, I'm having a stunning ride. Oh. I know it's a circle of life, but I still don't like to see it. Especially when they've just obviously been run over. Gersby and Ludford. It looks like we're heading towards Hainton before we get to Rugby. This beautiful countryside everyone. Talk about everything you could ever wish for in a bike. This bike suits me down to the ground. Absolutely. Is this the Cadwell Park turn up? Goes off to Horncastle. No? I don't know, perhaps not round here then. Nice to get eh? It's a funny thing that I always slow down at crossroads. Maybe not enough, but I always slow down a little bit. Just in case somebody thinks or didn't see or I'll tell you what though, this helmet's still pretty quiet. Screen's still doing brilliant as well. I think we'll be um, summer gear will be coming out soon. I've still been hearing a few people going on about the, the residual value of these bikes. Don't buy one, they lose money too quick. Do you know what? I've lost money on every bike I've ever bought. And I mean every bike. I've never made money yet. So, I've, my plan with this one is more long term. I don't give a monkeys about the residual value. However, if you're thinking you're going to buy a new bike and trade it in six months later, you are going to lose money. I'm coming into Hainton now. So, you know what? That's just the way it is. I don't know why this glove's uh, doing what it's doing. Hainton Six Hills, South Willingham. I can see these by doing lots of miles. A lot of miles. I don't know yet whether I'm going to pop off and do a little tour, but me and Tess can't do it at the moment. We're one of those uh, couples that won't leave the dog with anybody. dogs in kennels and things like that so look at these lovely roads I hope you're enjoying these as much as I am
sheepy sheep is. I suppose that is it. I mean, it's easy, yeah. It's got to be. Where's that gone now? I can't see any lambs in there. East Bark with. <laughs> Sorry. Bark with who? <laughs> is there is there a some is there a meeting? So we all get in a meeting and we can all bark. Sorry. I think about <laughs> I'm amusing myself now. I apologize. Post office and shop around the corner. Crossroads in. Oh, there it is. They were right, there is one. Oh, come on, slow down. East Torrington Market Raisin. So we're going to go up there. Well, there you go. I'll have to look into that one next time. another new road another new build look at that well being built nice very nice and we leave West Park with it's so nice to come out on a Monday and be able to find roads that are fairly quiet Bye, it just wants to go, bless her. I'm not complaining. Please, please don't think for one minute I'm complaining. Because I'm not. Do you know what? I feel like I've owned this bike for years. I just drop on it. And it's just like I've owned it for a, a long, long time. Okay, coming into rugby now. Listen guys, from here on in, it's going to get kind of... Uh, Boring, a bit more quicker roads, main roads going back. So well, I think we'll end the video now. Take care everybody, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting our channel. We wish you all the very best, do take care. There it is ladies and gentlemen, this bike is officially running. 
Listen guys, thank you so much for following the running in process. Now we'll just be having some amazing rides and enjoying ourselves. You take care guys, I'll talk to you in the next video. All the best, ride safe, bye bye.